Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have, in one day coming, the next team of the season in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is uh, the Serie A, Calcio A, whatever you want to call it. We're getting rid of these La Liga guys. We're going to have a new team in packs, new SBCs. You know the drill. This is, what, the fourth or fifth week of team of the season. So we know what's going to happen. We know it's going to go on, and that can help us make some better moves. Uh, on the market in terms of investing in the special cards that you guys have watched and seen go up in the past weeks um, as the hype around that league makes those cards go up as people build squads and they fit together some squads with some of the other team the seasons that they've already packed maybe some red cards and they go for some hybrid squads and just try out new players to do the objectives and to try out the new tots cards so right now it is uh, Wednesday night when I'm recording this and I'm looking out for some deals on some of these um, Serie A cards because you know right when the, this starts to get hyped up right when they start hyping up some of these team of the season possibilities that could be coming out whether they tweet the squad early or whether they actually just release it without tweeting it out or showing us before the actual drop um, there should be a little bit of panic for those cards on the market but they're going to go up after rewards which are tonight so I've been looking at these cards some of them are already up a decent bit and that's why you might not see me buy that many Serie A informs and other Serie A cards um, right away. I mean, I'm watching these cards' prices, I'm watching to see how low they go, but some of them are just really aren't hitting an amount that is low enough for me to get interested in them. Now, I'm not entirely sure how hype this Serie A tight tots is gonna be. It really depends on the players that they come out with, but there's still gonna be some, there's still gonna be a lot of cards that move on the market, and that's what I wanna take you guys through today. How I'm thinking this could go down time-wise um, with some of these cards that you see on the screen right here. Now, I've made a concept squad with a few cards that I'm interested in that, that are pretty meta, that people that I think people would try. And, you know, even like this is a Pata card, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to get a Tots card. It's going to be way too expensive. And people are going to go out and they're going to try. This is his second highest rated card. It's only 80,000 coins right now on the market. If his Tots card comes out first day in packs, it's a juiced card, insane stats, which it would be. If you look at his stats already, his Tots card is going to be, you know, 93, 94 rated and have some pretty B stats. I mean, this card's only 80,000 coins. That card is going to be at least 300k plus, and that's going to make this card rise as people go and they try it and fit him in teams and build other teams around some of these players, especially if like Quadrado would get a Tots card as well, kind of out of nowhere. You know, that's a nice green link right there between Quadrado and Duvan Zapata. I just saw that. But make yourself a concept squad like this, and I want to I want to talk about what cards you might want to focus on. Always, we always talk about the meta, we always talk about the popular, and the good guys in game. But we also need to talk about guys from this team of the season that are on one team. That is Juventus, uh, because those guys are going to have the most hype out of anybody um, in this team of the season. Because you think about some of the most meta players and cards that people want to use in the Serie A, Dybala, Ronaldo, Alexandro, we already saw the Emery Chan Tots card, the, um, the Napoli version of uh, Allen is a kind of a card that is not on Juve, but you can get a green link to Alexandro, so his card comes in useful there as well. But these Juve cards are gonna be the most popular in my opinion. So if you can get some good cards like this, cheap deals, Look through those Juve cards. Look through meta popular players like Nine Golan. If they for, like if they give Nine Golan a team of the season card, that's kind of a, a card that not really anybody would be expecting to get for a Tots card, um, whether it's objective or whether it is on the market. That would be a huge pack seller if they did put him on the market. But also his inform is going to be a great card to watch um, in the panic. You see, I have the the squad name Serie A Panic. In times before, we've seen panic selling leading up to the the drop of the team for Bundesliga especially we saw the team came out early and a lot of these cards were panic sold so again we're going to be looking for that if they release the team early is there panic selling and if there's not we don't have to buy we honestly don't have to buy we can watch these cards prices as the team of the season is dropped watch some of these out of packs special cards that are good that are meta in the game i've been preaching this all week and through the past couple weeks with some of these tots cards it's all about the links and it's all about the in-game meta ability of some of these cards. And obviously right now, Sandro is one of the best left backs in the game. Yes, he has the Tellez competition, but that's kind of that's going to kind of wear off this week. As you might see, maybe even Chiellini gets a Tots card. That's going to bring back the hype for Alexandro. You're going to see a whole new level of hype around the Serie A cards 
um, this week with all these TOTS cards coming out into packs. I mean, if you some of these La Liga cards that have risen up so high in price, especially if there aren't any TOTS cards in a certain position, as we talked about with the right wings, the right backs in the La Liga, you're going to see a lot of those cards fly. Now also, if you don't have the ability to buy these cards right now, or if you don't have the ability to get a good price now, you can wait because we're going to check out some flipping prices here um, of a couple cards from past team of the seasons that have come out um, earlier this team of the season year. And look at a few of these cards. You can tell there were multiple buy points based on how these cards fluctuated in price and went up. Looking at Jadon Sancho, right before the Bundesliga team of the season came out, he was 419,000 coins. That first weekend, when his team of the season was 1.7, 1.8 million coins, nobody could afford that. This card's 400k. It shoots up to 485. Weekend League sell-off brings it back down to 448, and look where he goes on the next Thursday. 516. So there's great profit on the Sunday night, Monday buy time as well. Um, and that's you know, I think that's some of the most optimal buy prices for these cards actually come on Sunday and Monday um, if they have a TOTS card that is out and the lower level card, the alternative, I guess you could call it, gets bought up over the weekend. Usually it gets sold off after the weekend. But the thing that we ran into last weekend was a bit interesting, and that was with a guy named Lucas Hernandez. Now, obviously, we had a lot of center backs, and we had a lot of people investing in some of these cards um, because they were meta, and they're catching on to the trend, just like we are. They're catching on to the trend that these um, out-of-packs special cards that are used in the game that are meta are very popular to flip, and they go up in price. So people have been investing in these cards, which totally makes sense. But last week, this card was about 120k on Wednesday night. Everybody started buying this card up because they thought this card is going to be one that's going to rise with all of these team of the seasons that are coming out for La Liga. This card rose up to 140 in the hype before, and then it got panic sold back down to 120, uh, and it stayed pretty stagnant and didn't even move over the weekend because everybody there was over investing in this card, and all those people were trying to sell um, while maybe other people were coming in and trying to buy that card. So watch out for the over-investing. If you hear a lot of people talking about a card, um, I've heard a lot of people talking about this Cancelo card, the ones to watch. I do agree where they're coming from. This does seem, in theory, to be a, an incredible investment, even the 88. Um, but I would be very careful with that because his card is probably up already in price. I think it's around 100K, 110K. You know, he was, he was under 100K. I bet this gets bought. Um, pretty quick because this is a, obviously a very hyped card this year because he gets that perfect link to Cristiano Ronaldo and a lot of people have that you know Ronaldo at center mid and Cancelo at right back but that's kind of a card that I have seen just being in the trading community and looking at a lot of cards that's a card that I have seen that could possibly be a little bit over invested in as we look to invest in some of these special cards now again we can take it over here to Footbin go to the Serie A you know, go to our Footbin, FIFA 19 players, leagues, top five, Calcio A, Serie A, and look through a lot of these cards. Now, previously I wasn't super impressed with a lot of the prices of these cards, but I'm starting to notice that some of them actually aren't too terrible. Um, and again, I, I, I'm really looking at cards that are meta, that are usable, and that are on Juventus, because I think the Juventus links are key. There's a lot, just so much more hype around those cards. Now, there are exceptions, you know, Milan, Cards can do very well. If Florenzi gets a TOTS card, that's going to be a very good one. Um, but it's just a little bit harder to link some of those cards. Even like a Milinkovic Savage, you know, that's a hard card to actually link. Or a Rodrigo Bentoncourt, since he's Uruguayan, but he has the Juve Strong links. A lot of people use Cancelo. A lot of people use um, Alexandro. So that's a, a quick green link to one of your, your right backs right there. But I think there is one exception, and that is some of the Napoli players. Hamshik. Mertens, and even a Cardi and a Mobley, um, and some of the other players in, that are on Napoli as well, like Allen. I think these cards are going to be meta and they're going to be hyped up as well. Like, look at this 45,000 coins up to 70k. He's back down to 47. You know, what, this card's going to be super rare over the weekend, and it's very cheap compared to his 333,000 coin um, Carnival card. So you can look at some of these lower rated versions as well. You see the Informer is 70,000 coins. That's pretty cheap. You know, a lot of these cards are going to be moving this weekend. It's all about timing it correctly. 
and being able to get the right buy price. But I can tell you one thing, if you're buying these cards before Friday, you're gonna be making some profit just as long as you go and take a look at their graph and make sure that they're not already up in price. Now, one last thing that I do wanna talk about, make a concept squad like this so that you are ready on Friday when they do announce the team of the season and you see all these cards coming out and you see what's going on with, um, okay, Dybala, maybe he get a, uh, he got a striker team of the season, but this right wing carnival card has dropped 50, 60K in the past hour leading up to the tots. That's the kind of stuff that you're going to want to clue yourself in on and get the, this is where you get the deals. Now, last week it didn't really happen. There wasn't a lot of panic selling. There wasn't a few cards, um, but not very much because people were on it. They were covering it. They knew if it's getting panic sold, it's going to shoot back up. That's probably going to happen again this week. That's why I really like the safest entry point is going to be Sunday night and Monday night, Sunday night into Monday for these types of investments. But some of them are going to keep climbing throughout the week. Uh, once the team comes out, we're going to have a really good idea of what positions aren't really covered by the TOTS squad, and that's going to make some players a lot more desirable, like this Quincy Promes. Look what happened to him this week. 120,000 coins. There aren't any right wing players in the TOTS La Liga, except for Messi, who's 3 million coins or whatever, and Promes shoots from 120 to 168. Meta, popular, good stats, and a rare position in the league where there's no TOTS cards in that current team this season. That's why this card boomed so much. Same thing with the um, team of the group stage, Gareth Bale. I have a couple of those on my transfer list right now that I bought Sunday night. I bought them at 270. You can see in this dip right here, he was 270 at one point. He's 350 right, 335 right now. That card might even be 400 by the time this weekend comes. So just watch the rare positions. You see when the, the La Liga team of the season comes out, check your concept squad, go on Footbin and see what positions are going to be um, needed and going to be rare. You know, obviously it's on the wing. They usually forget one of the wings or one of the right backs or left backs. And I will say one thing, they're not going to be short on goalkeepers because Chesney, Donnarumma, and um, Handanovic had all, have all had many informs and great years. So two of those three will probably get in. I could even see all three getting in to boost the rating of this TOTS if EA wants to really put some big time ratings on this Serie A team of the season. Um, but other than that, again, it's going to be focused on the Juve players, the stats, and of course, all of the um, popular players in the Serie A, especially like in a some type of player that is going to, that a, peop, a fan favorite, like a Milinkovic Savage, um, like the Allen Tots card. That's one area that you could take a risk on if you don't think that the Allen is going to get re-released or the Emery Chan. You could take a risk on some of these cards, watch their prices, and um, watch and see if there's any panic selling leading into that tots coming out. You see this Allen here at 365. That's, de that's decently low for that card. You know, if you see that card drop 50k, 25,000 coins before the team of the season is released, might be a gamble you might want to try taking. Pick up one or two of them, and if he doesn't get into tots, he is going to fly just like Sule did during Bundesliga TOT. So that's the interesting thing. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of risky moves you can make. And there's also a lot of safe moves you can make. One safe move that I do want to tell you guys about and make sure you know about is, of course, everybody's talking about this, but the Serie A rare gold players. Literally go onto the market and stack up, fill your club with one of each of these players. People are already stocking up. Look, they're 800 coins. Get them on lightning rounds during weekend league rewards. When people are opening all those packs, you can maybe get them for 650, 700, 750 coins, or get them during the first two lightning rounds on uh, on Friday because less people are thinking about getting rare gold cards, more people are thinking about looking at the new TOTS cards and their prices. So that'll be an optimal time to stack up on some of those rare golds that you can then use in upgrade SBCs, which we are still grinding at the moment right now. Um, I still have plenty of these upgrade SBCs to do. Hit some more blues, and uh, you know it's always fun to hit some of those blues. So there's going to be a lot of market movements around Serie A tots. It's it, I hope they juice the team. I hope they give high stats, put in all the players that we want, and that will make it a lot more fun during this Serie A team of the season. If you like the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.